hello and uh, welcome everyone welcome back again so in this video let's talk about uh, more uh, questions about html5 css javascript so describe the correct uses of the following html5 semantics we have a header footer article sections and uh, so all these elements are newly added in html5 header is actually represents the header of page can represent a header of article or can represent a, a header of particular section okay section tag is used to create a multiple sections in a page footer is can be a represent a footer of a particular art, article particular section or a particular page so header footer uh, article sections these are the native tags has been added in html5 how can you uh, can you name the four type of media properties so when you do the import media right so what all things we have import all so media properties applies to all media type devices when you write a uh, media when you put print that means that media uh, th that media properties in css is applies only for printers okay when you put it screen which only applies to the screens like desktop uh, laptop mobile etc and speech which only applies to the screen reader so these are media has a special four properties for different kind of uses uh, okay this is a javascript question so what is the promise of the state state whenever you do uh, some uh, axios dot get axios is a library to get the uh, api data or you can just do http dot get put post initially the promise can be in the resolved state rejected state or pending state once you get the data then it becomes in the resolved state if you didn't get the data from the api then it gets it in the rejected state so we always do p dot then promise dot then first callback comma second callback and then do a dot catch dot catch will be handled when the promise is rejected uh, first callback promise resolve callback will be triggered once you receive the promise uh, data from the api what are different async attributes on the script tag you might have seen this when your script is big your javascript library is big or maybe you wanted to defer the loading of that javascript in your page then you can just do async defer so what it will do it will load that uh, javascript content without becoming a bottleneck in the render critical render path it means it will load that javascript later or uh, maybe once everything is stable in the page and then uh, defer means it will it will do it asynchronously and it will do it in the background asynchronously so it is used whenever you actually load or render the javascript it actually becomes the blocker for the critical render path to display the page content and it start executing that javascript code so once everything is done we will do it we will load that javascript file uh, using a synchronous way uh, in the background uh, okay create a standalone functions bind that functionality equivalent to the so this is maybe inter, uh, important questions you should be aware about what is the uses of call apply bind what is the use of that so call and apply we use to override this context and we use dot bind method to uh, inject some object so the consider this example is here we are using uh, bind uh, bind you might have seen in es6 classes where the dom events doesn't ha have access to this object so we explicitly bind those method with this object and before arrow functions was introduced in the nested callback functions we used to do a dot bind this object so the nested callback functions also get the same this context available inside it what is a callback can you show an example callback is just uh, so in javascript functions are powerful you can pass a function as an argument to another functions you can return function from a function so all these things or functions can be assigned to some variables right which is called we call it as anonymous function so callback function is something used for asynchronous programming can be used for synchronous but the usage is only for asynchronous so when you are writing a functions you wanted to do something and then you return a function as a callback okay so uh, we can write a simple code about it so callback function is just a another function which is passed inside of functions and will be returned once some our asynchronous task is done okay it's so like set time out set interval all these are callback functions set time out takes a functions array dot prototype dot for each array dot prototype dot map array dot prototype dot filter reduce all these are callback functions uh, definitions okay so let's talk some more questions in the next video